we will briefly discuss the solutions to the first assignment in basic electrical circuits. The very first question you are asked to calculate this current and as you can guess this is an application of Kirchhoff's current law and if I call this current I x it should be very easy to see that I 1 equals I x plus 2 amperes plus 1 ampere. Okay, and I x itself results from 62 and a half billion electrons in 1 nanosecond flowing this way. Each electron has a charge of minus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs and we multiply that by the number of uh, electrons 62.5 times 10 to the 9 and the period is 1 nanosecond which is 10 to the minus 9. Okay. And if you uh, carry out this, you will see that this is minus 10 amperes. So, I x plus 2 amperes plus 1 ampere is minus 7 amperes. So, that is the answer. And we are told to specify the numerical value of the current in amperes, which is minus 7. Okay? So, this is what you should enter in the answer box. The second question, you are asked to find V x. And if you go around the loop, and let us say you go around uh, in this uh, direction summing the voltage rise. So, if I call this A, B, C, D from A to B the voltage rises by V x from uh, B to C it rises by 2 volts from uh, C to D it rises by V 1 and how much is V 1? When V 1 is applied a current of 2 milliamperes flows that way into a 2 kilo ohm resistor. From Ohm's law, we know that this voltage will be 2 milliamps times 2 kilo ohms, which is 4 volts. So, V 1 equals minus 4 volts. Okay, V 1 polarity is like that and you have 4 volts in this polarity. So, voltage rises by V 1, which means it falls by 4 volts and from D to A, you have to complete the loop d to a it rises by minus 1 volt it actually falls by 1 volt which means it rises by minus 1 volts and the sum of voltage drops is 0. So, you work out that V x equals 3 volts and the answer the numerical value in volts is 3. Okay? The third question is very simple they are given an I V characteristic you can see that it is a straight line passing through the origin. So, it is a resistor and you are given one point here minus 3 volts at which point the current is minus 150 microamperes. You are asked to calculate the resistance. The slope of this is nothing but the conductance. The conductance is the slope which is minus 150 microamperes divided by minus 3 volts and the resistance which is 1 by g is removing these uh, negative signs 3 volts by 150 microamperes and this works out to be 20 kilo ohms and the answer which is the numerical value in kilo ohms is 20. Okay? In this question you are asked to find this voltage V 1 you are given a mutual inductor. Okay? Let me call this I A and I B just to distinguish it from this I 1 that is given here you know that the expression for V 1 would be L 1 times the time derivative of I A plus the mutual inductance times the time derivative of I B and uh, note that I have taken both I A and I B flowing into the dots that is the convention. right? In that case you get plus m. Okay. Now, I B is 0 because this side is open circuited. So, this term does not even appear and L 1 is 4 milli Henry's as given to you and the rate of change of I A you can see that I A equals I 1 this current source and I 1 is given here okay? and you are asked to calculate it at 3 microseconds which is over there. Okay? So, you have to calculate the slope of this that gives you the time derivative of I A okay? 
i a equals i 1. So, this time derivative of i a is the same as time derivative of i 1 and this is a straight line. You are told that the waveform consists of straight line segments. So, the slope of this you can easily see it falls from 2 milliamps to minus 1 milliamp that is a total fall of uh, minus 3 total change of uh, that is a total change of uh, minus 3 milliamps over a period of 1 microsecond to 4 microsecond a duration of 3 microseconds. So, the answer is minus 4 volts okay? and the numerical value of the voltage is minus 4. And here you are asked to find this capacitor uh, voltage V c and you know that V c is nothing but 0 to some t naught the current in the capacitor divided by the capacitance integrated over time plus the initial condition at the starting point at 0 and you are told that it is initially discharged. So, this part is 0 and you have to calculate this integral and what is I c? I c is the current flowing that way if V c is of that polarity then you can see that I c is nothing but I 1 plus I 2. Okay. Now, there are a number of ways to solve this you can try to sum up these waveforms find the area and so on, but area of course, finding the area is a linear operation integration is a linear operation. So, I will find the area under I 1 up to uh, 6 microsecond and area under I 2 up to 6 microsecond separately 6 microseconds is over here. So, I will have this positive area minus that negative area plus this positive area minus that negative area okay? and similarly in this case the 6 microsecond mark is over there. So, we have this positive area minus this negative area plus that positive area. Okay. Now, this consists of uh, finding areas of rectangles and triangles. So, I would not go into the details, but uh, the area of this part area under I 1 up to 6 microseconds it will turn out to be basically 5 milliamps times 2 microseconds. Okay. So, this is the area under I 1 up to 6 microseconds and the area under I 2 up to 6 microseconds is you can see that this negative part cancels this positive part and that positive part. Okay. You can of course, sum up the individual triangles and rectangles and you will get the same answer. This area is 5 milliamps times 1.5 microseconds. So, this is the area under I 2 up to 6 microseconds and you have to divide it by the capacitance. Remember, this quantity here is nothing but this integral, this 1 over c can be taken outside and c is 20 nanofarads. Okay. So, if you compute this whole thing, you will find that this V c is 0 0.875 volts and the numerical value of the voltage, if you round it off to one decimal place is 0 0.9 volts. Okay, so, the answer is 0 0.9. Now, here we again have a mutual inductor and let me call these currents flowing into the dots I A and I B and this time you are asked to find V 2 at t equal to 4 microseconds. V 2 will be m the mutual inductance times the rate of change of the current flowing into the primary dot which is d i a d t plus the self inductance of the second coil l 2 times the rate of change of secondary current. Okay. And you are given these currents i 1 and i 2 you can see that i a equals i 1 okay. and I B equals minus I 2 because of the polarity. Okay. So, this is nothing but m times d I 1 by d t minus L 2 times d I 2 by d t. 
and m is given to be 4 milli henrys times the rate of change of current at t equal to 4 microsecond. You have to see where that is. Again, these are straight line segments, very easy to calculate the derivative. If you see over this segment, it changes from plus 8 milliamps to minus 8 milliamps, that is a total change of uh, minus 16 milliamps over a period of 2 microseconds. Okay? Minus L2, which is 8 milli henry times the rate of change of I2 at 4 uh, microsecond. So, it changes from minus 4 to plus 4. So, a total change of uh, uh, 8 milliamps over a duration of 2 microseconds. So, if you compute this, you will find minus 32, minus 32, the answer is minus 64 volts. Okay. The numerical value of the voltage is minus 64. And coming to the last problem, you have a voltage source driving a parallel combination of uh, three elements. You are asked to find I 1 and I 1 will be the sum of I C, I R and I L at any given time. At every instant, this is true. Okay? And you are asked to calculate this at t equal to 5 microsecond, which is over there. So, right away you can see that at t equal to 5 microsecond, this uh, voltage is 0 and I R this v 1 appears across the resistance. So, I r will also be 0, because the voltage across it is 0. So, I r is 0. So, that leaves that out and I c is nothing but c times the rate of change of capacitance voltage and V c is nothing but V 1, okay? because if we take I c that way, you have to take V c in that direction and V c is V 1. So, this will be c times the time derivative of V 1 at t equal to uh, 5 microseconds, which is 2 nanofarad times change of uh, minus 10 volts over a duration of 2 microseconds. Okay, So, that is over here and this gives you minus 10 milliamps. Okay. And what is I L? I L is nothing but integral of uh, 0 to T naught, the voltage across the inductor divided by the inductance value integrated over time plus the inductor current at T equal to 0. This is given to be 0 over here. Okay? So, that part goes away and essentially this part is nothing but the area under this. Okay? And you can see that actually this part of it cancels off, this uh, positive and negative areas cancel off, and you are left with only this area. So, this works out to be you have a 1 over L factor which is 1 by 1 milli Henry times this area which is half times 5 volts times. 1 microsecond that is the area of the triangle okay? and this gives you plus 2.5 milliamps. So, I r is 0, I l is uh, plus 2.5 milliamps, I c is minus 10 milliamps. So, the total is minus 7.5 milliamps and the current in milliamperes the numerical value is minus 7.5. Okay? So, that is the solution to the first assignment. I have uh, briefly outlined the methods. Please check your answers and see where you have gone wrong and try to fix that in the following assignments. Okay?